What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today, we have a special guest. You know him as Big Brian, King of the Crease. What you might not know is that King of the Crease's day job is commercial refrigeration work. So that means he's up and down ladders all day, every day on rooftops. You got any crawl spaces or anything like that? Sometimes when you have to go on top of a walk-in box, yep, you climb above the drop ceiling. So that means he needs to tote his tools around with him. High and low, what he's going to share with us today is his experience with one of Crescent Tools' new bags. Tell us what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what you think of it, it's construction. Tell us all about it. Well, first of all, I like the, the size of it. It's a perfect size for a diagnostic bag to bring up to the roof to carry a certain amount of tools that you would need to diagnose units. It's got a nice color scheme to it. Uh, it's got the nice plastic base on it. So in case there's water up there or anything, you put it down, your tools won't get wet inside, which is a, that's a good design. I see you installed a shoulder strap. Yep. This, this guess what? This is pretty big. This is pretty big, like it's pretty heavy for its size, the way you have it loaded down. Yeah, well this is basically the way my other tool bag was loaded down. I just took the tools out of my old tool bag and put them in here, transferred them over. But this bag is a little bit wider than my other bag, so. Like, how do you feel about the handles and, and the strap? Are they, do they seem built well to you? Um, the handles are comfortable, but they're just a little thin, I think. Um, they could be a little bit thicker. Okay. Um, even though they do have nice padding on them, they're stitched in pretty good, but... The strap feels feels good to you? Yeah, I just wish it had a longer uh, pad here too, like a little bit longer. This is a little short. Gotcha. Especially for someone like me who's a lot bigger, you know? I won't disagree with you. You know, I'm not nearly as tall as Brian, but I do have pretty big shoulders. Most of the other tool bags I see, the shoulder strap, the pad is a lot longer, so... What about the... Oh yeah, the shock force tape measure. Yeah, the shock force tape. What do you think about the hooks? Very nice. Do they, do they, you, you find them popping off or they stay nope, on there? No, they stay good? on there pretty good. Zippers, you have any hang up with the zippers? Is there anything you could tell us about it? The zippers, we haven't had any issues with them. They're nice and smooth. The only pr thing that I didn't like about this bag is like the slots here to put your basic tools that you're going to use every day so it's quick so you don't have to open them up you can just grab them and go but if you wanted to open this zipper you got to move these out of the way is this another little pouch down it's here? another pouch yep oh so i see you're keeping like it looks like rubber gloves bits uh it looks like um some jumpers jumpers in there bits so quick access here quick access right but then i, I could see how i could see what you're saying but if you have like tall screwdrivers like this all the way across it's going to be tough to get this that's why i think they should have put this one on this side and then lit, left gotcha. these over here i got gotcha. put the zippered pouch on this side what about the inside what do you think about the organization in, inside of here um it has a lot of pockets which is nice but some Ooh. of the yeah some of the pockets i think are a little too close to one another. And I'm not sure how durable that stitching is gonna be after a while as, as, as far as durability. So you're saying it would take more time for you to determine? Like is, yeah. you're saying it could be a problem, it could but be. it hasn't been a problem yet. Right, no, it has not been a problem. How long, have you, how long have you been using this bag now? Uh, about three weeks, yeah. A little less than a month. Yep. I can tell you, it looks brand new for three weeks. Yeah. So, you know, I guess, is it wipeable? Did you have to wipe it or anything? Any spills? Yeah, I have cleaned off the bottom, yeah. It had some dirt on it from bringing it up to the roof and stuff. And this side is basically has all the, the pouches to put all your hand tools. And then the other side has a lot more open space, has a lot more wider space. Oh, Brian's got a flipper in here. What a frame lock. And then I got the... Uh, Why can I never get... Back. I can never get these... Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> You know me, I like my knives. What do we have on the other side? Is it, are they identical? Nope, they're not identical. The other side is for bigger tools and my drill is in there. Oh, I got you. My uh, M12 Surge is in there we'll and it has larger pockets for the meter so and I have parts bin. Yep. Yo, we're going through Brian's bag. Look, he's got the reversible Malco. Yeah. Nice. And the meter for testing. And, and larger tools and bigger stuff can be put on this side. It doesn't have those small slots for the hand tools. What do you like best about this bag? I'd have to say that it's like the perfect size, pretty much. Uh, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's just right. It's just right. And it has the nice plastic base. 
which your tools won't get wet if you put them in a puddle of water. I do like the size of these zippers. Oh, look at that. They're YKKs. Yep. Definitely less likely to... It, to from, from what I read, it has a three-year zipper warranty on it, so yeah, which is good. good. Definitely less likely. Because usually on bags like these, like every other bag that I've owned in the past, the zipper is always the first thing to go on them. That's what I mean. Less likely. The YKK quality, less likely. And it has, so, it has some nice D-rings on it, so you can hang other stuff here. I, I think he's doing it on purpose. So if there was any negatives to the bag, what do you think they would be? I think... Uh, like I said, where the hand tools are, some of the pockets are a little bit too small and too, they're not wide enough to handle certain tools that you would actually need on a daily basis. And like I said, this here too, this zipper gets in the way. This is in the way with these tools if you were to have them all filled up. Anything else? Um, Anything you'd like to see improved? Wider handles up here, like a wider strap up here to hold, make these a little thicker. And and then move this move this pouch to the other side. So move this pouch over here, yeah. maybe a little bit wider handles and a, sh a wider shoulder strap. Other than that, it's a very nice bag. And Brian, we appreciate the perspective from an HVAC or refrigeration standpoint. Let's bring somebody else in and get a carpenter standpoint on the new Crescent line of bags. All right. What we have here is Mikey J. He also has this, we call this like a clamshell style bag. And Mikey J does a lot of carpentry work. He's the master spackler from Second and Tasker. Is that right? The master plaster. A master plaster. How has your experience been with this bag? What do you like about it? Tell us, tell us how you got it outfitted. Okay, so what I like most about it, because I have a pretty good bit of weight to mine, because I like to keep a couple extra batteries. And I also like the, the both sides, especially because on this side, I keep my batteries and charger and, right. and some bits, like some long bits that I could put in there and it has pockets for, for whatever. And you have my masonry bits, my, uh, my wood bits, you know, all different size bits. I like to keep on the inside. How do you have the front side, Mikey? I have the front side with my uh, two M18s, the impact and the drill driver. And also I could fit two two uh, bit boxes in there. I have different size bits that I need, any drivers. And I also have a box of drill bits, wood, gotcha. wood bits that I need. And some, uh, some extra long bits, extra wide bits that I'll need, one inch, half inch, one and a half. And then everything. You got a whole saw here, a whole dozer. He's got, got himself a little. You know, uh, yeah. I basically set it up for just what I need it for, you know. This bit kit has a hidden feature if you wanted to find out about it. Go to this video over here. So you're just using this kind of like a, a cordless tool bag. I see yes. I see you have some more bits down here. Right, easy, easy access right there. And then, the Walt Long and I also have a hidden compartment here. You do have where, a hidden Where I can keep another box, yep, yeah, which is right here. Ah. And this is like a that special fun. box that I make up, you know, a little a little sorter with different. So this is a this is a, this is a coolest tool bag and bit bag. Right, that's what I use it for, and and I think it works great, absolutely perfect for me. Let me ask you, have you tried any of the other bags? You have the, any? Have you seen the open top bags? You, you tried those or no? Yes, I did. I did try all those, and it seems to get a, a big mess with the open tops. That's why I don't like it. I'm always digging around. I got to put it so down, put it back in. But you've never had the, the Crescent open top bags. You're saying in the past. Different, different open, name brand bag. Top bag. Right. So you like that this is closed shut. Right. What's your favorite part about the bag? Um, I would say the, the, the room capacity that I have to keep everything and know where it's at. Yeah. And easy accessible, you know. Is there anything you don't like? I didn't really find anything I don't like about it. I actually like it. It has the strap or the handle. And then I got a little spot over here for my gloves. I keep a, a, an extra knife and, and a pair of gloves in there all the time. And then no tape measure. You don't use the hook. I do use the hook. The tape measure must have fell off in the truck. I will tell you this much. A, a, a lot of times, whenever I use the outside hooks, tape hooks, mm -hmm. my tapes always pop off. Yeah. So I kind of I either stick them in the in, in in whatever you know whatever bag I'm using or box that I'm using, or the reality is I have it in the door of my truck. And when I when I get out of the truck, I put it either in, in my you know hanging off my pants pocket belt or it's in my in my in my tool belt, so that's good. These these hooks are good, I suppose. I, I just 
stray away from using them. Me too, because like you said, every bag that has one of these always does the same. It thing seems to pop off, right? Well, we appreciate the feedback, Mikey. Listen, leave the comments down below if you're a carpenter. How do you outfit your bag? Have you used the Crescent bags? Do you like them? Do you like the open top? Do you like the clamshell style? We want to know. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.